and Mario Chalmers out there. That's their speed and quickness lineup. That's their best defensive lineup as well. They have been the most effective when Anthony, particularly at the defensive end, is so active. And uh, Chalmers around the floor. Nice pass, Brand. Philadelphia off to a terrific start. They lead it 13 to 4. They've hit six of their first seven, and a technical foul has just been called. Yeah, Chris Bosch for tossing the ball over the backboard after that timeout was called frustration from Bosch. This series. Shot clock down to three. James. And back come the Sixers. Turner moves it across. Balls with the backdoor oh, pass again. Elton Brand from Spencer Hawes. The high post passing of Hawes. That's the third really beautiful assist we've seen with the four point lead. That's his fifth three, adding to his playoff career high. Pretty pass inside from Hawes. Iguodala, who is hanging in despite the three personal fouls. Spencer Hawes is an excellent passer from the high post. I mean, we've seen four of them uh, in all of the spectacular variety. Backdoor cuts and beautiful feeds on the bounce. I think you have to have a personal chat of the official story. I, I plan to during the next time out. Spencer Hawes' family may be seeking him <laughs> out, too. And it's a basketball playing family. <laughs> That's right. Iguodala. That's a two, says Tony Brothers. Had a foot on the line, so Andre Iguodala's here. All right, Steve, time for the Marines teamwork play of the game. Oh, great play by Spencer Hawes, Hawes here, recognizing that his teammate Elton Brand is being fronted by Chris Bosch. And as a big man, anytime you see that and you're on the weak side, you flash right to the foul line, exactly as Hawes did. Back. Okay, that's inexcusable. Anytime you have three white shirts in there in a triangle and Ray Allen gets the offensive rebound, that's a no-no. We know that Ray is really hurting with that ankle. It has definitely affected him in the shooting percentage as well as the three and the foul line. Holiday free. There you go. See, this is where Holiday has got to make Rondo in the passing. So the passing out of the traps has been slow. So you're not getting the open three-point shots on the opposite side of the floor for whichever team. It, didn't, it doesn't make a bit of difference. But the big thing here is, is Bill for eight from downtown. Philadelphia one for six. Pause. Lavoy Allen keeps it alive. Bass, though, saves it right to Hawes. Back to Iguodala for the finish. Andre Iguodala throws it down, and it's a two-point game. Well, they have been very active on the offensive board. And a couple here in this game early on, they've just been a little quicker to the basketball. And you've made the point. You lose Derrick Rose. You think about all the things you lose. You also lose offensive rebounding because of his lack of presence. The fact that they don't have teams trying to key in on it. The cut by Turner and the finish. And you talked about hard control, but you don't want to allow this gritty ball team to get back into it. Bigadala outside. Turner steps into the jumper. Kanta. Amazing when that back. understand why guys are on the floor late in playoff games as Boozer misses for the first time tonight. But he talked about if he's disappointed in game two, quarter three, that his team didn't do the work, didn't do the stuff that got him through the stretches without Rose during the regular season. Williams gives the six. They hold you to the lowest amount of points, the field goal percentage against, very difficult over the season. What well, you're seeing why in this first half, both teams are really executing at a high degree of excellence. Chicago, almost uh, six minutes keeping Philadelphia without a field goal. Turner changes that. That's where athleticism. Saturday shot the ball a lot better than he has recently. He get all on Kobe Bryant. Rebound to Evan Turner. Chance for the Sixers to gallop here. Turner in rhythm go. for two. Those are the kind of shots the Sixers can take. That was just trapping, corralling him, letting him just stand there and quarterback. They got to trap him and make him put him on his back feet or like on his heels. Iguodala 
Kobe Bryant late getting through the screen, and Iguodala able to make them pay two of his 11. Six of yes, 18 rebounds. The monster inside, Mark. Sixers down four. Find them way out on Williams. Can they rotate? There it is for Vucevic. Yes. Well done by the Sixers with Bynum. Part immediate concern. The Sixers down two, and here they are now out of the timeout. Beat L.A. from the sellout at Wells Fargo Center. Williams for the tie. Got it! Lou Williams coming up large. Forcing the ball away, and it caught him by surprise. Drew Holiday, Jody Meeks, Andre Iguodala, Elton Brand, and Spencer Hawes for Philly. Curry, Clay Thompson, Jabrell Wright, David Lee, and Beadrich. Iguodala bottoms the three. That is 17 points that the Sixers have off. All Sixers through four plus games. That's odd, not only for a guard, but for a reserve guard. And another takeaway, third of the quarter against the Hornets. Williams fakes the three. Gordon ran at him. And the layup by Turner, who has 19. Sixer lead at six. They haven't trailed since Indiana led at 18-15. Turner count it and a foul. Nice little handoff by Hawes as Turner took Dante Jones all the way in and the foul. This is a tough play to guard, Mark. When guards hit the post and cut hard, we used to call this the Eddie Jones cut. Eddie Jones made that cut famous, at least in my day. But when you make his fire's lit a little bit. Yeah, it doesn't take much to get him going. And as Coach Collins said before the game, he is one of the most streaky shooters in the NBA. So really got to pay attention. He can get you 30 like that. I've seen it. Close hand. Mm -hmm. Drew Holiday getting close and scoring with the left hand. Three Sixers have four 16 Milwaukee turnovers. Iguodala did it again. Andre Iguodala, he has been very solid here through the first nearly 13 games of the season. He's got 18 points, and the Sixers open up a 13 point cushion just under three minutes to go here in the fourth quarter. Iguodala has been Mr. Everything for the Sixers. Right here, he sets the screen and then finds himself open on the perimeter. Knocks down a jumper and tells. Took the lead in the fourth, but couldn't hold on. I like what they're doing here right now. Iguodala's bringing the basketball up the floor, taking the pressure off of their point guard. Nice entry pass from the big guy, and Spencer Hawes. You see here to start, Mike Marquise Daniels. Starting in place of Michael Petrus, Garnett steps back off the mark that time. Turner the rebound. Like the defense right here, that was nice. Nice pass. I'll tell you what, Spencer Haas has made some pretty feats to his teammate. History of his career. He's going to play big in the big game, and that's how he's doing right now. Again, Daniels, who's out of the rotation, going to get some minutes with no Ray Allen and no Petrus. Haas calling for it. He's got Pierce on him. Holiday nice. cuts to the basket and finish. Yeah, they caught, they caught Bowling, turning his head and zoning off the other side. Tyreek Evans is actually second on the team in scoring. And Marcus Thornton is averaging just over 17. Two years removed from Rookie of the Year. One season at Memphis. Beautiful give and go executed. Another. Between Spencer Hawes and Lenape High School was the 12th pick in the draft back in 2008. He had a really good rookie year. Kings are really using him a lot and depending on him, but now that they've gotten DeMarcus Cousins, his minutes have dropped a little. That is, that is. Earlier, teams that like the fast break. Yeah. For example, the Kings don't like to prevent the fast break. Already 12 fast break points for the Sixers. They average 17, and that's among the NBA leaders per game. Exactly. And this is more of a tribute to the entire team, but in particular, as Lou Williams gets the lay-in 